Hi, I'm Dr. Jenna Scare, better known as Dr. Unfit, and I want to go over that tension, that tightness, those knots that you might start to feel. If you're working away at a computer all day long, you know, you start to feel that tension build up right into the upper traps, maybe that neck area, and you just feel like, I just need someone to go in there and dig it out to, to get them out of there. It's not really how it works. The body holds tension naturally when we start to be in prolonged periods of sitting, <laughs> of positioning without moving our body. Our body says, oh, this is what I need to support my neck as it's falling forward, looking at the computer and really stressful and intentional in that state. The shoulders are gonna to start to kick on, the upper traps are just going to start to work because it helps to hold the head up so it's not just falling down. <laughs> so it's natural. Just getting in there and digging it out isn't gonna be this fix or the solution because it's just gonna come right back. So I really wanna talk to you what you can do throughout the day to kind of break up this experience of just sitting at your desk and building up that stress and getting back into your body. I recommend doing this at least every hour, if not every 30 minutes, and they're quick, easy. You could do one to two of them. You don't have to do all five that I'm going to show you, but it's really going to help to break up this posture and this positioning to utilize other muscles around the area. So you're not building all the tension here. Again, knots. think of it as your way of your body, just trying to protect you. And it's not scar tissue. It's not a buildup of anything that we're going to break up. That's not how we get rid of it. We get rid of it by activating other parts of our body, by utilizing the shoulder blades, by moving and improving mobility through the spine. That's how we start to address them, okay? And I'll link up in the podcast, right down in the description, a specific podcast where Dr. Dom and I describe in more detail what knots are if you want to learn. But let's go over some of the exercises. So the first one is just about the breath. This is the most important mobility exercise you can do because it's literally going to take you from that tensioning down into your body and relaxing in the system. So I'm going to take the hands and place them around my low rib cage. So rather than this posture for breathing, I actually want to wrap my hands around my low rib cage. If this is hard for you, you can also grab a towel, a sweater, something that can give you feedback right around this low rib cage. And all you're going to do is take a deep, slow breath into your hands. So you don't want the breath to come up here at all. And you don't want it to just be pushing out the belly. That's not necessarily the diaphragm. The diaphragm rests right underneath this rib cage. So we want the rib cage to expand to allow that diaphragm to have room to move. So I'm going to place my hands at my rib cage, give it a little squeeze, give it a little love, take a breath into my hands. And even slower breath out. I'm telling you, doing just five of these can help to put you in a so different place within your body and finally relieve that pain and that tension that you may be feeling. The next one, we really want to get that upper back moving, okay? We get so stiff when we're just working at a computer all day long. So place your hands out in front of you and then open and look toward that hand as much as you can. Take a breath in and open. <sighs> The breath in helps to utilize the muscles around that rib cage because we're making it active. We're not just relaxing, but we're actively opening. Next, I want you to actually keep your head facing forward and then try to open from that upper back, pull that shoulder blade back into the spine, open and reach. You might realize that one side has more mobility than the other, that's okay. Just go to where you can. And we naturally kind of get that neck rotation from that upper back, but we're staying looking forward. So it mixes it up just a little bit and again, helps to relieve any tension pressure. Next one we're gonna do is called the levator scapular stretch. Now this levator scap likes to get really tense and tight. So it's okay to allow it to stretch and relax. We're gonna use that good breathing, long exhale. So I'm gonna place my hand up. The other hand can go behind you or it can grab the bottom of your chair and you're just gonna look down toward this opposite armpit. So we're gonna look down and get a good little stretch right into that neck here and take some nice long exhales. So I don't necessarily like to count, but I like to count breaths. So I do about five to 10 breaths or at least until it feels like the tension around the neck is starting to ease. So again, other side, nose down toward my opposite armpit, 
I can grab the chair, I can place my hand behind my back, hold that shoulder down, and breathe into that stretch. Again, just kind of relieve some of the tension and the pressure right around that area. Lastly, let's just get that movement back into that upper back. So this is a great one you could do at any time. We're just gonna reach forward, round that back, reach the shoulder blades away from the spine, and then coming up and opening back, pull those shoulder blades back, sit up nice and tall, and again, round. Think of it coming just from that upper back, and then pull it back, shoulder blades back, shoulders down, open. You can mix up the breath pattern. There's no one specific way. You can breathe in. But use the breath as you're moving. And I guarantee you do these, you break it up throughout your day, you're gonna to start to feel so much different. You're not gonna notice much tension, as many knots, and as much pressure around that head and neck area. If you love what you're learning, don't forget there's so much more that I have in store. So hit that subscribe button, check out the other videos so that you don't miss anything and you continue to learn and feel amazing within your body.